Hi, I'm Thaddeus Cernus. Welcome to another Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Gus, and he asks, what's the big idea with Swift being open source now? Apple's decision to open source Swift isn't much of a surprise. Apple has a long history of using and contributing to open source projects, most notably WebKit which is the underpinning of Safari and Apple's web-based technologies on both iOS and Mac OS X. Now, the Mac includes an abundance of other open source packages as well. Cups, Samba, Apache, Ruby, Python, almost any of the command line utilities that most developers use daily. In addition, the Objective-C runtime has long been open source. But what's surprising about Swift is how much Apple decided to release and how they're gonna continue to work on Swift in the future. They're going to have public discussions about the language's evolution. They're using GitHub for pull requests. And they have a public JIRA instance for tracking issues. These are all really new characteristics for Apple. And it really demonstrates how serious they are about Swift as a next generation language. Now, the Swift team has outlined three of their top priorities for Swift, speed, safety, and expressiveness. Now, as developers, we're responsible for building software that not only provides great experiences for users, but does so consistently and reliably. If you've been using Swift, you're very familiar with its insistence on type safety, error handling, and variable initialization. And these things all help ensure that we build better software. Alongside Swift's safety goal is performance, and it's already delivering there as well. Now, as the language continues to move forward, we can look ahead to great performance improvements, both from the Apple team and folks in the community. Now, in some ways, Swift feels like a very high-level language. The foundation framework, for instance, includes support for things like date and time, simplified file system access, and URL loading, even with authentication and cookie support. You can couple these with support for running Swift code as shell scripts, and system administrators can use Swift for many of the tasks where they've previously pieced together shell scripts. But Swift also has an important quality of a low-level language, and that's speed. Apple intends for Swift to be a replacement for C-based languages, which could make it a viable candidate for building new operating systems. Today, we use fairly general purpose OSs as a foundation for our devices, but Swift seems staged to make us consider improvements to the way we build kernels and drivers. And those ideas aren't limited to just Mac OS X or iOS. There are certainly opportunities for microcontrollers, small embedded computers like the Raspberry Pi, and transportation and applications in health and fitness. And by open sourcing Swift, Apple has opened up some really cool opportunities for how we build software, while also showing how committed they are to this language as the future of development tools for Apple platforms. Now, that's all we have time for in this episode. You can tweet your questions with hashtag askadev, or you can leave them in the comments below.